the first time that I, I worked with flying was actually choreography that I made for myself. And it took, I think it was four people just to do the, the flying for one, one person. When Peter Pan came about, I felt like I had uh, you know, a good bit of experience and perspective, and I, and I wasn't interested in just you know, hopping from here to here. The bungee affords quite a bit of athleticism for, for the Peter Pan's character. To do the solo is it's amazing, but I think to watch it as well, you get a, a real vicarious thrill. Um, and I think it's um, I think it's a very common human metaphor that we dream about flying. And I think there's some part of us that wants to not be bound to this earth and wants to not be bound uh, by gravity. And I think that's one of the things that gets that gets st stirred up and awakened as an audience member when you see the the flying in Peter Pan. What's different about the flying this time is that we're automating all, all, of, the, all of the actual mechanics. So right, rather than having eight people in the wings pulling on ropes, uh, now it's robots. And we've spent this, this past week programming that and um, it took a lot longer than I thought it would. And I think it's mainly that, that machines are unintuitive. And so, you know, if, if I'm pulling on a rope, I can watch what a dancer is doing and watch what their weight's doing, and I can make adjustments. Um, the machine can't do that. It has to be told every single step of the way. And so, in some ways, it's a very uh, stilted process of getting to, you know, trying to replicate an organic uh, movement. Um, the benefit of doing that is that once it's figured out and once it's set, it's utterly consistent, so the dancers can count on uh, you know, the, the, the line being let out a certain amount uh, at the same point every single time. And so that has, uh, it has great benefit in terms of the dancer's mastery, um, but also in terms of their safety. You know, they can always, always count on the same thing happening. Peter Pan's story is so rife with um, psychological imagery and things that speak to you know our, our primal fears and some and archetypes of existence that we that we all struggle with. I think it's the internal and external conflict that the characters go through that support the magical elements. That was really the part that was the utterly the most interesting and drew me to the drew me to the story in the first place.